What are we doing in Texas? Well, we came to Texas for two reasons. One, eat barbecue, two, buy a helicopter. And I am all full of barbecue. I've already worked up a Texas sweat. It's so humid here. You guys have been so patient while we um, moved for a new helicopter after selling the Enstrom. Get ready for the big reveal. It is an R44. If you guessed R44, you win nothing. But you all are correct. That's pretty cool. <laughs> We're gonna get the Robinson R44 Airborne. We're gonna tell you why we bought it and how we bought it. First flight in the Robinson. <laughs> Engine gauge is green. Hello. Hello. Gonna roll it up. Come on, warning lights out. All right, here we go. It's happening. <laughs> I'm gonna go pass over his ass right quick. Okay. So this is really odd because it's not my first time flying an R44, but it's the first time flying my R44. My goal here is gonna be to pay attention and just fly the helicopter. Because, uh, you know, it's a brand new helicopter, there are all sorts of quirks, and uh, I want to be really mindful of that. Good idea. Excuse me while I get used to flying this thing. <laughs> So what did we get? We got a Robinson R44, it's a 2007 model, and it has a ton of hours left, so no major overhauls anytime soon. Why did we get this? Well, the big one is space. So if you notice, there are four seats in this R44. Um, our Enstrom technically seated three, but it was really more like a 2.5. This is a legitimate four-seater. My goal was to bring you and our daughter into our helicopter videos, and this will absolutely make that possible. The speed is another two. This is a much faster helicopter, which means we can go on family adventures and go check out places that we wouldn't have been able to see in the Enstrom, uh, just because it's so slow and uh, you know everybody hanging out um, in a tall, small helicopter for a really long period of time. That's a lot to ask uh, you and our daughter. Also, it's more efficient. So for the basically the exact same amount of fuel per hour, uh, about 16 gallons per hour to fly this thing, this thing will go 40 miles an hour faster. Ooh. So we can actually cover 50% more distance using the exact same amount of fuel. So this is a value proposition? <laughs> Sweetie, for the financial solvency of her family, I had to buy a Robinson R44. Before I forget, let me quickly thank Flying Eye Sunglasses. They have been such a wonderful sponsor to us. And when you buy Flying Eye Sunglasses, you help support our channel. If you need aviation grade sunglasses, they are an excellent thing. We love them in the helicopter and we love them on the ground. Sweetie, show them what you can do with Flying Eye Sunglasses. The frames are so thin and flexible, you can take them off and put them right back on under your head. But can you bend them to weird degrees <laughs> and not have a break? Yes, you can. <laughs> Whoa! So, if you'd like some aviation-grade sunglasses, check out Flying Eyes. There's a link in the description below. You'll save 10% when you use the code MICA. Flying Eyes. And man, I'm so glad to be using my Flying Eyes in an actual aircraft again. <laughs> Me too! <sighs> I don't know if you noticed, but uh, I was really, really red in that intro, and uh, it's because I am really awful in the heat. My mom's a redhead, and I think I got some of those genes. <laughs> so this thing has air conditioning. Right up here, there's this air conditioning unit. So right now, it's pretty hot out, but the air conditioning is doing a really good job keeping me comfortable. It's, it's awesome. So between air conditioning, more space, more speed, uh, just a generally more comfortable helicopter, this is going to be a very family-friendly kind of ride, and that's exactly what I was hoping for. Luckily, our dialogue will keep it not entirely family-friendly. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Hi, Sensi. <laughs>
<laughs> One of the other big things is that when I bought my Enstrom, finding somebody who could work on an Enstrom was pretty darn hard. And uh, with the Robinson R44, it is the most common uh, civilian helicopter you can find. So getting somebody to work on it is not a problem. If we run into some sort of issue, somebody will be able to uh, get the thing flying again. So on some level, it's like, well, it'd be cool to fly something a little bit more unique. On the other hand, it's kind of great to fly the, like the Honda Accord of the sky. And we live an hour and a half from the factory. So if we need parts, awesome. no problem. One other thing. If you notice here, I don't have to meticulously manage the throttle because this helicopter has a governor. That means it maintains the rotor speed automatically, and my Enstrom didn't have that. So I liked flying the Enstrom because I was really aware of how much power I was using at any moment, but it's, it took a lot of brain power to do all of this other stuff, just flying a helicopter and talking, while also managing um, the rotor RPM. It was a handful, so this is, I think, going to make it, uh, give me a little bit extra brain power so I can be somewhat wittier. Okay. <laughs> stares into space. <laughs> so one of the big questions is, how do you buy a helicopter? And honestly, if, even though I already own a helicopter, this process would have been impossible without Creative Rotorcraft Maintenance, aka CRM. You've seen me talk about this before, but uh, what happened is that I used uh, CRM to help find the helicopter. They negotiated the price, they handled the pre-buy inspection, and told me all the things that needed to be attended to and what needed to be fixed before we brought it home. And uh, having them handle all that stuff made this work. I, I don't think that would have worked otherwise. I got them right on here. I see you. <laughs> so, uh, I mean, if you're going to buy a helicopter, give CRM a call. Free plug. Yeah, you didn't even see it until we landed to pick it up. This is how much I trust CRM. They came out and did the pre-buy inspection. Um, they made sure that everything was squared away with it. And then we just showed up. I did uh, my pre-flight inspection, uh, but ah. That it, is trash. So this is where I'm not complaining, but just to give you some sense of the complexities in buying a helicopter, there were a lot of uh, holes of Swiss cheese that had to line up perfectly for this all to work. Financing had their own requirements. Um, the insurance people, um, you know, their specific requirements. For, uh, for dealing with that, and it was just a lot of stuff to manage. We had to sell the Enstrom first, and that all went well, but I mean, all of these different things had to occur in order for us to be here. Literally, to this morning, we finally got an email that escrow had closed, and we'd actually bought the helicopter. You know what's funny? To me, it's a little bit like when we brought home our daughter. This is way more impressive than we did when we brought our daughter home. <laughs> it's true. You need to, okay, it's like, I have a hangar. How do I get the hangar, the helicopter in the hangar? Oh, you got to make sure we have ground handling wheels. And then like, well, how do you push the thing? Because it's pretty hard for one person to move. Oh, there's like a hitch you can put on the uh, front. But to do that, we have to pull it with a, a vehicle. So we have to get a hitch on our car. And it's like, there's all these dumb little things that you have to get in advance and just think about. I hope you are similarly excited though. Or at least as excited. I, I love all my children in different ways. <laughs> I mean, a couple other things I had to think about. Um, so this helicopter has um, a system called ADSB out, which basically broadcasts your position so other aircraft and air traffic controllers can see where you are. Uh, but it didn't have ADSB in, and I wanted to be able to see traffic on here. And so I had to get uh, a little um, a, a Sentry uh, Mini from uh, Four Flight that sends um, traffic data here. So I've got that. And also, I had to figure out how to mount an iPad here. So I've got an iPad set up, so I've got all my maps and information here. Uh, what's really cool is I've got my cool mount, but I also have air conditioning, so uh, the odds of the iPad overheating have gone down substantially, and the odds of the mica overheating <laughs> have gone down substantially. It's a left sweat guarantee. <laughs> <laughs> well, we have to establish the baseline, though. I'm always a little sweaty. <laughs> I, okay, it's, maybe not a guarantee. It's not a no sweat guarantee. <laughs> yes. Yeah. One of the most important aspects of prep for me Air sickness back. <laughs> Evie has been such a trooper over the years flying uh, with me in the Enstrom because um, she suffers from motion sickness. And so uh, making sure we had, it was funny, I got a bunch of air sick bags. And you're like, oh, we should have gotten more. I'm like, I got as many as I thought we could possibly need and then doubled it. <laughs> it's a very long trip home, sweetie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So it's a really cute air sick bag. Have you seen this? It's got a little uh, cute little, um, is that, what is that, vomiting chip on the line? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, sweetheart. Cuteness is important to me. Yeah. I want to thank you guys, uh, because a lot of you guys subscribe to this channel for helicopter content, and we haven't been able to do that. It's not because we haven't wanted to, but selling a helicopter and then buying a helicopter takes a lot of time. So thank you for your patience, and what's great is that we're going to get to do a lot more helicopter stuff coming up. And what's even better, I get to do it with my family. Yay! I'm, I'm happy about that. <laughs>
I'm happy about that too. Sweetie, are you excited to get in the helicopter some more? As long as we have my best friend. <laughs> now, Pukey the chipmunk is along for the ride too. So thank you guys, we'll see you soon. And coming up next, we're gonna show you what it's like to fly this helicopter all the way back to Dallas to California. So if you're curious what it's like to cross country in a helicopter, we've got that coming up. Thank you so much. Thank you. High five.